Previously on Juliana and Bill. So, Gia, you and Bill starting to try again? Like all the IVF and stuff like that now. We just want to take a break. What am I going to do in LA? I don't really have any friends there, so I know. It was a little depressing. I'm thinking, what am I doing here? This is not my town. You get to know the city. I don't know. You know a few people here. No, I don't. Oh, my mom called. My sister wants her to come out for six weeks. Ooh. She wants her to stay with us because my sister has no space at her house. Well, we definitely need a bigger place now. We got to start looking, like, code oh, red. I love the way you are. You know what I could do tonight? What? Why don't I make dinner? Hmm. I'll make a little uh, pasta. Or we could order in. It's quicker. No offense. You don't like my cooking? I do like your cooking. It's just quicker and more efficient. When my parents come out, because they're going to come out for a while, my mom was going to make pasta every night for us. Ding. My sister Monica is pregnant with her fourth baby, and so my parents are going to come out from the East Coast and help out. And since they're going to be staying with us, time is of the essence to get a bigger place. I'm ready to get out of here. Are you serious? Yeah. Our lease is up soon, so instead of renewing, we can just... Plan ahead. Yeah. You know right. who I should call? Josh. He's like one of the top realtors in L.A. Josh. Josh. I love that. No hello, just Josh. <laughs> It's Juliana Rancic. I, I feel like you know my voice because I call you whenever I need a, a house for a friend. Josh is a high-end realtor who knows the LA market inside out. So if anyone can find us a place, it's gonna be Josh. All right, so Josh, listen. We're thinking we need to find a place to live that's bigger than the place we're in right now. So is there anything in particular that you're looking for in a house? Is there anything that you must have? I like cozy. Quaint, right, Bill? Yeah, but I mean, you know, we want it nice. I mean, cozy typically means very small. And I don't want to be, you know, her parents are going to be spending a lot of time here. Not that I don't love them, but I'd like to have a little bit of room. Uh, you guys want a pool? Uh, pool would yeah, be nice. I don't need a pool, but. I like a pool. I like a pool. I like to sunbathe. You don't like to swim. No, I hate swimming, but I like sunbathing. But you can sunbathe in a backyard. I like water near me when I'm sunbathing. Mm. Then I feel like I'm back in Italy in the old country. If we're going to find a house in a short amount of time, we need to get on the same page here, kid. The problem is we have never shopped for a house in Los Angeles, so it's just very different finding a house here than it is in Chicago. You got to get on my page, Rancic. You got to get on my page. I want a pool. How, how quickly can you set some stuff up? I, I'm in and out of town a lot. Give me a few days and I'll get back to you with something. All right, Josh, we got to run. We've got a, a TV show appearance we're doing, but look forward to checking out some houses. All right, I'm going to turn up a few and uh, I'll see you and we'll, we'll take a look at them. We'll see you next. All right, take it easy, Josh. Nice, nice talking to you. I need to tweeze your eyebrows a little bit. <laughs> it's fine. Trust me, you don't want to go on national TV with a uni brow. Today we're doing the show, The Doctors. The whole show is on infertility. We've kind of become advocates for couples who are having trouble to conceive. It's our chance to maybe help some other folks out there who are about to or are experiencing what we went through. That made me bleed. Did that hurt? No. Now, would you like me to go into the arch a little bit? No, I'm good, I'm good, thank you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You have a couple spare hairs. Oh, that's a stubborn one. All right, I'm fine. This is what wives are for, honey. We spot stuff like this. Mm -hmm. Next time we'll wax you. That's not happening. Please welcome Juliana and Bill Rancic to the show. Tell us exactly what happened. Well, we tried to have a baby naturally for about a year or so, and that wasn't happening. And we ended up doing a round of IUI, but that didn't work. And then we did a round of IVF, in vitro fertilization. But then after eight weeks, we found out that we had miscarried, and uh, it was a chromosomal issue. So, you know, it's a numbers game. Eventually it will happen, but it just hasn't quite happened for us yet. 
you know, as rewarding as us going public about our fertility issues has been, because we've been, we've been able to help a lot of people around the country who are struggling with the same thing. It's also been pretty taxing on us. Now, going towards the positive, yeah. what are you guys doing? Well, you know, we're figuring it out. You know, to be honest, we are, um, you know, having fun, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so we're open to everything. I've been waiting for you guys to call me in here. Yeah. So I've hosted a few shows in the past, but it's been a while, and I definitely wanted to get back in front of the camera. So I'm at ITV Studios, and they are a production company in Los Angeles. And several months back, they asked me to do a TV pilot for them, and I'm here today to find out how the pilot went. So we showed the test show to 50 stations, and uh, we got the results back, and they rated very well. Really? off the charts oh wow yeah great this is amazing it says viewers are overwhelmingly positive about the concept of the program mm -hmm. yeah that's always good yeah mm -hmm. you want to tell him the good news based on the research they wanted more of you wow with all the feedback that we got from them they want to move forward with the show wow five yeah. days a week it's big huh yeah there are certain topics that we want to touch on because this is a show that's news you can use. Yeah. If it's the holidays, let's talk about regifting. Mm -hmm. My wife does it. Yeah. <laughs> but we have some bad news. Okay. Oh. We're not going to shoot this in Chicago. That's okay. That's actually good timing. It's perfect yeah. timing because I'm going to be spending more time here in Los Angeles, so this works out great. This new show couldn't have come at a more perfect time. With me moving to L.A., the show's going to be in L.A. It's one more reason that's going to keep me in the city that Juliana loves. And who knows, maybe this show will connect me more to L.A. life. Here we go. Yeah, yeah. I'm in. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Dana. Thank you. I appreciate all your hard work. Okay, I'll see you guys later. Yes. Have a good rest of the day. All righty, bye. Hey, honey. What's happening, hot stuff? Oh, I just had a meeting uh, regarding America Now. Yes. So good news. You know how I did the test show? Yeah. And it tested really well. It rated really well. No way. And the good news is it's going to be nationally syndicated. Nah. -uh. Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. That's amazing. Hosted by moi. Oh yeah. my God, but honey. It's, a little, it's like more more news. Aww. You know, news you can use. It's like what I do. Yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> Not like what you do. Not to say anything, but hosting is a lot harder than it looks. I know you think it looks easy. I've done live television, honey. Okay. I'm just saying, the finale of The Apprentice no. was one hour of live TV, and that's awesome. But just, you know, if you want any tips, I'm here for you, kid. I taught Seacrest everything he knows. Everything. Does this mean you're going to be shooting here in Los Angeles? I'll be shooting it here in Los Angeles, yeah. Yeah, so it'll be good. So you doing okay? Enough about me. How are you? No, I'm good. I'm good. I was just, um... Uh, I was uh, writing a friend of mine. He turned me on to a very amazing book that his wife read called Making Babies. I know, don't say anything. But it's written by this guy, Dr. Sammy David, and he's a holistic infertility doctor. He actually tries to diagnose you. You get amazing pointers and just little simple things you could do. In for your example? Life. Like, for example, there was a case of a woman who had too much acidity in her mucus. Not this mucus. Ah. Yeah. And they discovered that all she needed, after thousands of dollars of IVF, guess what she needed? A 99-cent box of baking soda. Wow. I'm a little bit surprised, because I thought this was uh, our year of fun. And now Juliana wants to see a fertility doctor. Are you sure this is something that you thought about? I mean, I, I thought we were kind of surprised, because I thought we were going to take a breather. This is the year of fun, remember? I just broke the news to Bill, and even though it's our year of fun, I just hope he's open to the idea. I mean, I, I feel like we have nothing to lose. It's all natural. Mm -hmm. You know, last time I got really sick, but I feel like, you know, we don't have to do the medicine or anything, so there's no risk of getting sick. I mean, if we can have a baby naturally, that's terrific. As much as I want to have a baby, I'm torn because I know how much pain Juliana went through last go around, and that kind of concerns me. Whatever you want to do, I support, but just think it through and make sure that, you know, you want to point the arrow in that direction, no pun intended. I mean, but I know you're right. It is the year of fun, and we did agree not 
to talk about kids and stuff, but that's why I feel like this doesn't require a lot of work or doctor's visits. Maybe he's not right for us, but at least let's hear what he has to say. I'm all for it, but you know, let's just take our time. No right. pressure, no expectations. You know, whatever happens, happens. It's still the year of fun. All right. I just want a little Rancic, a little Bill Rancic. I mean, come on. Our kid has those, those beautiful eyes and that smile and that gorgeous head of hair. I mean, <laughs> what more could I ask for? Oh, please. <laughs>
No. Just deal that place, fix it up. I know fixing up. No fixing up. Honey, do not look at the fixer uppers. We need to move ASAP. What part of ASAP Honey, do you not understand? It's in my blood. Ugh. No. I mean, this is a beautiful street. Okay, I agree it's a beautiful street, but look at the houses. Don't you agree they're kind of like... Yeah, they're a little cheese ball. Yeah, right? Wow. From the 80s, literally. Okay, who's honking? Really? That's a little biatch. All right, thank you. Mangu. Honey does not buy good taste. No, it doesn't. I think I like a more traditional home, you know, like something a little more like, you don't like that? Coast. That's the house I don't want. I don't want modern. Also, those windows give me total and utter anxiety. Yeah. Because all I think about is someone in the middle of the night coming in with like one of those little exacto knife Glass things. cutters. Glass cutter. And like, tick -tick 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 -tick, and I wake up and there's some dude standing over my bed. I can't. Security is like a huge deal for me. I am like ultra, ultra paranoid that someone's going to break into my house. I think I watched way too many scary movies as a child. I'm just not into a lot of these houses. You know? Yeah. You know, I'm glad we went and drove around Beverly Hills because now we know at least what we don't want in a house. Now we're going to go check out a really awesome neighborhood, Brentwood. This neighborhood is so beautiful, isn't it? I love these houses. Well, it seems like there's different quadrants in Brentwood. Some, some pockets are nicer than others. So, okay, what kind of house do you want? Do you want more traditional, more I think like Cape Cod? Yeah, traditional's nice, you know? Okay. It works, don't you think? Yeah. I could live there. That's, see, that's the kind of house we should go for, so, yeah. of that style. Okay, all right. Well, I think we got a good idea. Yeah, I think so. Right? Yeah. Driving around the neighborhoods, now we know at least where we want to live. Yes. The Brentwood seems like the best bet. So let's hope your boy Josh can pull it off and find us a good crib. Oh, my boy can pull it off. He's got every listing on the west side. I mean, listen, it wouldn't kill us to put a nice Italian fountain in the front yard. No. I grew up with the fountain. I loved it. I found I'm not it very soothing. I'm not soothing. necessarily a big fan of the fountain. It means you've arrived. Well, that's if you are new to the country. <laughs> right. So, this is a little different from what we've seen so far. The first house Josh brought us to, not really our taste. He called us with another house, and this one looks pretty promising. Better be good, because Mama DePandy is on her way to town. OK, first of all, white picket fence. I could die. I had a feeling you'd like that. Oh my god, I love that. <laughs> oh, look at the fountain, honey. Uh, you know, my Italian family, we mm -hmm. always have fountains in the front yard. That's like a oh, mandatory yeah. <laughs> for but the, Italian. But your family likes the big, gaudy ones. That one is a little bit Yeah, more, that's not uh, so big. We'll work yeah. on that. We'll work on that one. Oh, this is nice. Isn't this cute? Huh? It is cute. It's about 2,200 square feet. Doesn't it remind you a little bit of like the house you yeah, grew up in? Yeah, it's charming. It's very cozy to me. All right, so straight ahead, you have the second bedroom, which is great for a nursery. Oh, it's cute. Seeing this nursery makes me happy that we're going to meet with Dr. David, because hopefully we'll be able to use this nursery sooner rather than later. So see, this is like a nursery yeah. for my shoes and bags, <laughs> yeah. right? For my babies. Yeah. And then, you know, if we have a kid one day, then we would convert yeah. it back. Come on down to the master. Cute. It's a good size. Nice. What's this? A closet, I guess? Yeah. Yeah, no. That'll be your closet, honey. <laughs> uh, for, like, my t-shirts. So you've got closet, a closet here, then, too. And how much time do you actually spend in the actual bedroom? You don't know who you're dealing with, <laughs> All right. This guy's an animal. He's an animal. <laughs> You're acting a little weird in front of Josh about it, you know. What are you talking about? Josh is my friend. I can open okay. up to him about right. our sex life. Juliana's a little bit outspoken at times. You know, Josh and I, we basically just met, and I really doubt he cares about our sex life. Kind of crazy. Well, check out the rest. I got to show you guys the backyard. Josh, he's an animal. I'm telling you. Oh, this wow. is great. This is nice. Honey, you could swim laps in this pool. You're like, a, you're like an Olympic uh, swimmer. You're like... Who was this uh, Olympian, Greg Luganis? Greg Luganis was a diver, honey. Same thing. He was good in the water. I know Bill is not looking forward to living in Los Angeles, but if we can get a house like this, something so darling like this, it'll make the transition so much easier. Not to pressure you. There's a lot of interest on this house. It's not something that you see every day. What do you guys think? I mean, I've seen a lot of houses in LA. I've lived here a long time, and I think this is a great house. So I personally would like the house. I don't see any reason why we shouldn't move in here. It's charming, it's safe, 
It's manageable. So let's take it. Oh. Really? Oh nice my job. God, honey, I love that. I think that Yay. this house is awesome. Yeah. You're going to you. love it. It is going to be so nice to live in a house in LA and not an apartment or a condo, which we've always done. Oh, I can't wait for Mom and Panda to see this place. Mom and Dad are on their way, and they're going to love it. Oh, I love it. Home sweet home. I'm a bit surprised. And I know she tried. I can see it in her eyes. Hi. Hi, Sam and David. I'm Juliana. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Dr. Sammy David is a fertility specialist. He does everything all natural. But we need to really think about what we're doing before we dive into the water head first with this baby thing. But it's definitely worth a try. I just think let's, let's slow the train down. It's worth an appointment. You've been trying for a pregnancy for how long now? Oh gosh, uh, about two, or two to three years. Yeah I, think, yeah, I think two to three. I have the pregnancy that you miscarried uh, in April. How far did you get? Eight weeks. Was there ever a heartbeat? Never a heartbeat, no. Any other pregnancy say no. Better no. not be. No. <laughs> not with him. No, just kidding. Nothing of it. In good health? Yes, very good. Do you exercise? Regularly. When you bathe at home, you take showers or tub baths at home? Showers. Do you put a laptop or computer on your lap? No. Do you drive a car with heated car seats? When I'm in Chicago, I do. Okay, well, let's turn the hot car seats off. Okay. Please. Okay. And your family, mom and dad are alive? Yes. Good health or not in good health? Good health. What? <laughs> in other... They like to eat. Is that what you're trying to say? <laughs> well, you're not perfect. Okay, your side of the family has some issues too. <laughs> Any milk from the breast ever? Nope. Excess hair on your face, your chest, your abdomen? <laughs> no. Okay. Even though I'm Italian, Italian right now. <laughs> Do you get acne on the face or acne on the back? No. Sometimes on the behind. Oh, Ransom. No, I don't. You get a little bit of acne. You get it on so the behind. Well, because we work out a lot, okay. so I think it's from the spandex. What's your blood type? It's That's not so embarrassing. I don't know. I don't know my blood type either. You don't? No, okay, good. I feel it's better. Close to Oops. I gotta say, I didn't realize uh, how little I knew about my body and your body. Uh, I think sitting down with Dr. David was a good move. Do you do acupuncture? I'm very in favor of acupuncture. I really want to start doing acupuncture. Please do. Yeah, because I know people who swear acupuncture by acupuncture. Acupuncture is so important. It really is. It okay. increases blood supply to the uterus, to the ovaries, stress relaxation, and so on. Should I do that as well? It does help sperm. Hmm. I mean, the thing is, I can get pregnant, which we've seen, so I'm probably having an implantation issue. Is that what you're saying, maybe? We don't know. I think you're having both a fertility issue and an implantation issue. Right. Okay. And also an issue of not being together yeah, enough, time. I think, too. And 40% of uh, an infertility in general is male factor. So 40% is male factor, which That's is right. amazing because so many of these doctors immediately go to the woman and just start pumping her up with meds and mm -hmm. put her through everything when they don't even test the oh, yeah. man, right? Yeah. So basically the way you work is you don't do IVF. What you do is you come in and you try to get people pregnant naturally. You prescribe what they need. What I'm doing is basically here's a puzzle. I'm trying to find the missing mm -hmm. pieces you're, to that you're puzzle. You're a detective. I'll admit to that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They so. need a diagnosis, whether you get pregnant with antibiotics or pregnant with on your own by telling you what position to take during intercourse. Positioning matters? Yes. Really? Dr. David gave us a lot to think about, but it reminded us again that it is a long road um, and it's a little daunting, so we have to think about it. Yeah, lot to, lot to consider. Mm -hmm. If I can make you more fertile, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, let's I'm, find out. Yeah, okay, okay. Sorry. thank you very much. Thank, thank you, you so pleasure, much. Pleasure. Thank you Such much. a pleasure. Great thank you. I loved your book. Thank you. gonna do the move. The move is this week. Let's Are you ready for the move? Really? Mm -hmm. The move in the right. house. Well, thank you for helping us with the move, guys. The deal on the house is done. Yay. And just in the nick of time because Eduardo and Ana Dependi are in town and they have nowhere to stay. And the best part, they have offered to help with our move. Ah, I love it. You girls, you want to come help with the move too? You know, I'm moving into a new house, you know. Yes. Wait, you are or we are? Well, you're not here to so move into the new house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody in the house. <laughs> it is our house, but we are moving because Uncle Bill can't be here. Why? I've got to go work. Honey, don't worry. Between my parents and I, this move is going to be a breeze. Mm. It's always a breeze at first. I have moved several times. I know exactly what I'm doing. I did all the work. That is not true. Let's unload all of these off the gate so we can start loading up the next gate. Everything in here goes. 
and everything in her closet. Goes. I had very important things sure. going on. E news. There's a first time for everything, and you have nothing to worry about. I hope so. It's, yeah, it's nice. a cute little house. It's a cute little charming house. And it's close to Monica and the girls. Yeah, yeah. he's a very important. Yeah. Look at this, guys. The pasta looks good. Buongiorno, buongiorno. Thank you. Will you order pasta? Si, I si, make si. pasta tonight for dinner. Hi, are you sure you just flew in? You want to make pasta? Yeah. We're going to put you to work? I yeah, no, 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 no. I like my pasta. I will say, your pasta Thank you. is I really need a good. Pork. It's a secret recipe. My mom no. never tells what's in the pasta. Oh, no, no. My mother's food is legendary. You could go to any restaurant around the world and nothing will top my mom's Italian cooking. So good. That's one of the nice perks about having them around. His belly loves it too. Yeah. Easy now. I'm, I promise that the people in Iki, I, I mean, make a pasta or lasagna. Okay. Oh, She's going to cook for all the guys that eat. Yeah, I get oh, the parmigiana. Oh, there's a lot of people that work there. No worry. <laughs> I make a big, big lasagna in five minutes. Everything finished. Gone, right? Okay, that'll be fun, right? You can? Yeah. Good. <laughs> Um, I do feel like to live in LA right now. Oh, LA is okay. Taking a little getting used to, you know. It's a lot different than Chicago. So no, but you like LA because now you have a new job in LA too. Mm -hmm. You have a new what job. What is your new job? Well, you're doing a TV show. Yeah. Oh. Ah, congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. Thank when they start? Start soon. Soon, nice. Yeah, it's good. It'll be fun. Yeah, it'll be good for me. Now that you have a new job and we have a new house in LA, I mean, mm -hmm. it's good, right, guys? You want Uncle Bill to spend more time in LA? Yeah. Yeah, right? Why did you sell your house in Chicago? Okay. Ask Uncle Bill. Why? Because your aunt made me. All right, we're all done? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, Good show, dude. Good show. Love you. Come on. Mama, Mama de Pandesia! Mama de Pandesia! La 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 sanya! Last time Mama DePandy was at E, she promised the crew of E! News that she would cook them all lunch. So finally, Mama DePandy is doing that. And I'm just happy that I get to be one of the dozens of people who enjoys her food because it is mwah, buonissimo. Mama DePandy and I cooked all night lasagna. You? What? <laughs> you? That's what I was going to ask. Mama! You don't lie to the crew. No, I think. She walked in the kitchen and walked out just to say hi. No, 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 no. No, no, the kitchen, nothing. Oh, she... Mom! <laughs> I went by the kitchen. No oh, cara, no cara. I cook uh, with uh, love. Oh, Thank you. For everybody. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Have a good week. Let's go eat. <laughs> so many people were just like filling up their plates with lasagna. People were coming in for seconds, for thirds even. Wow, this is great, thank you. Enjoy. Oh my god, this looks amazing. Yes. Can you guys come to my birthday party? Come in. Mom and Candy's catering, okay? Mom, enjoy, enjoy. Mm, this is delicious. This is what I did. Oh, this is good, yeah. I'll tell you what, you're a hit out there, Mama DePandy. No one's talking, they're all eating. <laughs> okay, so you make a restaurant, you make money with Mama DePandy. <laughs> Person after person kept coming in and saying, Mama DePandy, you should open a restaurant. You should do something with this. And it definitely got my wheels turning a little bit. I was like, what can we do with her? We make a money, Mama DePandy. Yeah. We make a money. Anna DePandy chef. Hi. Morning. Hi. 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 Hey. 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 Big move. Big move, you guys look color coordinated. Oh, yeah. Love that. So today's the big move, and I'm gonna go into work for a few hours because my parents volunteered to help out. God love them. But before I go, I definitely have to kind of talk them through some things because I don't want any language barrier issues. Artwork. Okay. Okay. Don't let them put holes in this, okay? Okay. Hey, Gavita. Hey. Codet. What did I say? I need to uh, watch this one, uh, non-broken uh, nothing. No broken nothing. No, Juliana. Mama, no Juliana. Okay, okay, okay. 
the octopus. Stiamo qua. Guardiamo. Ok, okay. okay. Watch, watch everything. everything. Watch everything. This. Where do you found it, this one? At the store. At ah, the you store, buy yeah. in the store. Yes. You pay? If there's anyone in the world I trust to handle this move, it's my parents. Call me if you need anything, and I'm gonna call you too to check in. I make a phone Okay, bye. Okay, ciao. Have a good day. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Bill Rancic. Thank you. So while the move is happening in Los Angeles, I'm in Nashville at a speaking event. I'm speaking to a huge group of potential entrepreneurs, and this is the first time in the history of our marriage that I have not been around for a move, and I'm kind of excited about it. When you think like an entrepreneur, you have a strategy. No matter what you do, you have a strategy going in. You got to anticipate problems. You got to anticipate change. I hope things are going well with the move. You know, I'm sure Julian and her mom and dad have everything under control. And uh, I'm definitely looking forward to coming back tomorrow to a finished house. Thank you very much, folks, for coming. I appreciate it. Mama, Juliana, where are you? I want to know how the move is going. Love you. Ciao, ciao. Hey, Sarah, has my mom called? She hasn't called? Uh-uh. Really? Did I call her? I've been calling her like a million times. I can't find her. I just want to make sure everything is OK and this crazy Italian woman yeah. is not answering her phone. All right, I'm going to just keep calling Mama Depan. Just keep calling. Yeah. I'm sure she's got it under control. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Thanks, Sarah, for your vote of confidence. It's really convincing. Eduardo, the same you. Exactly the same. I just want to back, huh? Maybe I can. Uh... Ah, ah, ah. Eduardo, Eduardo, no, 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 no. This is not for you. I can do it. Eduardo, no, 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 no. The guy is more strong than you. Please. Yeah, I can do. I can do. No, 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 no. Dang, girl! What? I just got an email from Us Weekly. Yeah. You're gonna die. You're up for Hollywood's hottest bodies, best legs. What? And you're going up against Cameron Diaz. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, yeah, girl, what are you talking about? about? Hold on. Wait, what are you talking about? about? But what do you mean I'm up? Well, first of all, I'm gonna lose. Okay. Oh my god. Oh, I'm never gonna win. Oh my god, we gotta oh get people god. to vote. Listen. Urgent matters come up at work, okay? And this is primo emergency. So I'm sure my parents are managing just fine. Is it okay to open the spider? Yeah. Mucho caliente. Mucho caliente. Ah, mucho caliente. Bene, 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 Don't vote for Cameron accidentally. Do you want to? Okay, I'm going to have 1%. 25%. Oh, that's so bad. I'm only losing by 77%. 440 people think that you have better legs than Cameron Diaz. Yes. So they're all my Italian relatives. Hey. All right, guys, you guys want to start us off with a tour of the Yeah. This is the master bedroom. And uh, the bed I need to come in this way. Okay, so my head is here. Yeah. That's it. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, and the, 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 oh, the, the two small, uh, nice, nice one. What about the dresser? The big dresser that was in her room? Mm, the... the dresser. Yeah. Lee! Did you see that thing? I saw you emailed me about the legs thing. I did. I think they're late on it. Lee, how do I win? Should I tweet and say I'm a loser? You might have a shot. You could just show a little leg on the set of E! News. You think so? And go vote for these. Lee, that's OK. Just show your what legs. do I do on Twitter? I want to do it now. And I appreciate you doing Let that, Let me go too. get my phone. I'm going to do a little photo shoot. <laughs> Why don't you sit? Just cry. Yeah. I won't shoot up. Just up your dress, I mean. So what am I doing? Yeah, don't even move. That was perfect. <laughs> You know, it would be great. Do you have your book? Like you just sit oh, around yeah, reading Oh, yeah, it's right over book? there. Yeah, I do, which I do. Yeah. Perfect. Like, oh, you're brushing up on your own tips. OK. 
These are perfect. This, this is sucks. This is the worst photo shoot I've ever done in my life. Lee, why? What does my book and reading have anything to do with the leg thing? Wait, can I do something funny like, like check out these stems that start at my neck? I've been saying that for years. That your legs. Lee, you're here. married with child. I know, but she's pregnant. Oh, that one's God. the best one. That's professional. Oh my God. Yeah. Lee, you could literally shoot the E News That's promo campaign. Sad. I'm actually thinking about it. Listen, no matter how many pictures I put on Twitter or how I try to bribe people, Cameron Diaz has the best stems in town, so she won. But you can't blame a girl for trying, right? Oh my God, I gotta get home to Mama Depandi. I gotta get home to Mama Depandi. All right. Mom! There's something Hey, in Juliana! Are you kidding? Hey, Mama, Babo, vieni qua! Focusing on this online leg competition with Cameron Diaz might have gotten the best of me because clearly I have left my parents in charge a little too long. Mom, where's the sofa and everything? They are arriva. Everything is fine, yeah. There's no dining room, Mom. Julia, sta nel track, sta arrivando. They're coming. I just, tutto sotto controllo. Everything under control. I control, control everything. Uh, Okay, thank you, Gara. Thank you. <laughs> Next time, no call me. Mom! You don't need to pay me. Pay you? Yeah. I'll pay you nothing. Mama! I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be able to sleep here though. Nothing's set up. Bottom line is I cannot show Bill that I can't move like he can, because he's the best mover in the world. He's like Joe Mover. So I need to be Judy Mover somehow. Where's the box spring and the, the thing? Mama. What the? Ah. <laughs> what happened to the bag? Not a big problem. Not a big problem, okay, tomorrow you receive the, no one piece. It's only the block, one piece and two piece. The problem is that the scala is very small. Did you speak to him in Italian or it? In English. Oh, no, in Italian, English. Ah, I speak Italian only with you. You know, the guy, no and understand the, no, 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 no. When I have a problem, I speak very well English. I don't worry. This is not the way it was supposed to be. I thought everything was going to be perfect. Where are you going to sleep tonight? She's <laughs> <laughs> Hey, honey. Oh my God, Billy R. Oh my God. What? How are, welcome home to your new home, Boo Boo. It's good. Does it look good? <laughs> Why are you How hesitating? Are you? Why are you hesitating? No, I mean, it's, you oh. know. There's a couple well, things uh, out of place. I think I'm gonna have to roll my sleeves up and get a little dirty here because there's a lot more work to be done in this house than I initially expected. So this is the bedroom? Yeah. So we still have to get rid of some stuff, but the problem is I don't have the right furniture for it yet. You know what I mean? No. I know you like things neat, neat freak USA, but we just moved in, so you have to give it some time. How long were Anna and Eduardo in charge of this move? Relax, there was an urgent matter at work, and I had to get what to work. What kind of urgent matter at work? Don't worry about it. Bottom line is, it's gonna get done. Sure, I'm gonna have to get it done. No. Yeah. This is our temporary closet. Ay, ay, ay. I know, boo. Don't let it Oof. overwhelm you completely. I know this is not good. Oof. Here's the thing. This is going to be our closet eventually. We're going to get it all built out and beautiful in a huge, gorgeous dressing Great. room. But in the meantime, for now, you uh -huh. know, the timing didn't work out. So for now, I just brought in all these clothes racks, and I thought this would be kind of cool. I like things neat and nice and, and, and organized, and I need, like, organization. If we're going to get this done, we got to work together as a team. Capiche? Capiche. You need to be introduced to manual labor. Oh, God. All right, we're going to get it done. It's good Don't for worry. the soul. All right. We'll no, see about that. No, it sucks for the soul, but we'll get on it. we gotta get, we got to get this uh, situation taken care of here. And it's therapeutic. I'm not gonna lie to you. You like it, really? Yeah. Oh, good, honey. Man, sick. You like doing this. Look, you wouldn't be doing this in Chicago right now because the weather's crummy there right now. It is nice. The only thing is, though, now that we have the house and we're starting to settle in, we definitely need to cut back on our crazy schedules. You've got to travel less, and I've got to be more available. Yeah, I agree. 
You know, it'd be good if we found another project to do together. Remember last year when we did the book? The book was good. That was awesome because it brought us together and we were, we saw each other more. No, it was great. I loved it. We need another project. Like, mm -hmm. What's something we could do together? I'm doing the clothing line. I mean, maybe should we do a men's division? No, 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 no. Why not? I'm not going to get into a clothing line. Why not? You could do, like, bow ties. I don't wear bow ties, honey. I don't, I don't know if you were joking or not, but I saw how those guys were lined up 10 deep at E. That's true. Mama DePandy's pasta restaurant. I mean, that could be a, a very entrepreneurial project that we could do. I would do a restaurant. Hopefully make a little money at it. You're the money guy. You know how to run it. All we know how to do is cook. You don't know how to cook for you know what. Rick's I You I'm... can't make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Yes, I can. No, you can't. I even cut the corners off. Do I want to be in the restaurant business? No. Will I explore and consider and look at the options? Yes. Thank you, honey. You're such awesome. a good husband. Thank you. Bottom line is, he sees dollar signs. For the first time, we're not saying the Rancics are moving again. We're saying the Rancics are getting into business together. Ah, indeed, indeed. Mwah. Speaking of Mama Penny's pasta, I'm hungry. What else is new? I'm going to eat. You want me to make you a sandwich? Yeah, make me a sandwich. Cut off the corners. Yes, ma'am. Mama Penny's Italian. I like it. Next time on Juliana and Bill. You know what else we need to focus on in L.A.? we got to make more couple friends. Enjoy our day. Guess what I'm doing? I'm having a yard sale with Pam Cole at her house. Really? This garage sale is not off to a good start. Am I hitting somebody? Yeah, I met with Zach. Yeah. He thinks we would be absolutely insane to open up Mama to Panties in LA. Okay, here we go. My mom would like the restaurant here, and that's someone we have to consider. Otherwise, let's not do it. Just because you don't get your way, don't take your ball and go home.